and I want people to get in our comments for their take on Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud's performances yesterday because this is the most important decision in the next five years for the Texans. I do not say this lightly. In Stroud's last college game, a national semi, he throws four touchdowns, no picks, 23 for 34, 348 yards. His team lost, but he was impressive. He finishes the season, 41 touchdowns, six picks. Bryce Young also put on a show in his final game, five touchdowns, no picks for him, 15 for 21 for 321 yards. And you're like, well, he's not in the national semi game, but Bama blew out a Kansas State team that had just beat the TCU team, who is now in the championship game. Bryce finishes with 32 touchdowns this year, five picks. And Sean, I'm just wondering, were you zeroed in on those two games like I was to see these guys? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, it, it does come down to uh, what they've done for a career at their respective colleges, whether it be Alabama or Ohio State. But you do want to see that last game or those last games particularly. But I thought C.J. Stroud probably had the best opportunity and seize the moment to increase his stock, increase conversation about him going into April 27th. And I think he absolutely did it. We all knew that, you know, Stroud possessed that skill set to uh, be elusive, to extend plays, to operate in the pocket, to throw into pressure. All of that was on display, doing what he did outside of the pocket, um, getting yards, big time first downs with his legs not just with his arm. He can make almost every throw, you know, off balance, on balance, cross the field, one hash to the other. He's dropped dimes all season long. It's been a fantastic career, a fantastic season for Stroud. I really zeroed in on all of those things last night, looking for them, and they were all on display. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.